Greetings and welcome to a Planet Zoo video where we will be playing with some hotkeys. Now I've been moving the mouse, uh, the map, the view using my mouse wheel and my mouse, but you can also use the WSAD keys that most games employ. Moving forward on W, backwards on S, right on D, left on A. And if you press Q, you go down. If you press E, you go up. And yeah, these are pretty slow. This is the slow forward, but if you hold down shift, wee! Similarly, if you want to zoom in using the keyboard, page up will zoom in, page down will zoom out. So this is not using the mouse wheel. This is using keys. And of course we have the different camera modes that are down here. Free look mode is currently on. Now if I click T, it goes back to standard. So T moves it back and forth between the top two ones on the list. And as far as I can tell, there is no hotkey to switch to explore mode, since, which kind of makes sense since you have to use the mouse to plop yourself down anyway. And also down here, you can run forward. And if you press shift, you run faster. Now, when you are in explore mode on the ground, if you, you, you can't turn the camera around, you can't look unless you hold down a mouse button. Now I'm holding down a mouse button and moving the mouse. Um, you can't just do it by, by scrolling to the edge, but if you press T while you are down here, then suddenly your mouse becomes your face. And you can move around like this and get really seasick. Now, all of these hotkeys, the ones I have shown you and the ones I have not shown you yet, you can find under settings. So you click mouse controls and you can see what different clickety clicks will do. Now, a second ago, when I clicked the menu in order to show you the menu, I did what I just said I did, which is that I clicked the menu. However, there are many, many shortcuts, which you can also find in the menu, that will allow you to access menus, I've said that word so many times now, without clicking anything. And as in many, many other games, if you are in trouble, press F1. That'll give you help. And if you want to pull up the menu that I just pulled up by clicking on it, but you want to do that without clicking on it, you press escape. Bloop, and you get that one. The terrains, path, blueprints, construction, etc. can also be opened using hotkeys. The number that you have to press to access something makes a lot of sense. Look at this. One gives me that one. What happens if I press two? Well, then I get the next one, which is animal trading. Exhibit trading is on F2. So it's also two, but it's like the other two. Then if you want to look at barriers, big surprise, you press three. Habitat, four. Nature, five. Facilities, six. I think you're getting the point. And terrain is zero. So let me show you a few terrain hotkeys. Now, if you want to pull or push, you use these. You can also flatten to surface, but woohoo! That was weird. So let's say I'm, I'm, I'm doing the pull, and then I realize, okay, that thing is too much. So now I want to push instead. Well, I could go down here and click the thing, or I could just hold in control, because that switches, that reverses the thing that you're doing. So now I'm not pushing control, so I'm pulling, like it says down here. And now I'm pushing control, so now I'm pushing, which is the opposite of the thing that it says I'm doing, and now I'm not holding it. What happens if you're smoothing and then you press control? Absolutely nothing. The only time the control tweaky thing works is when you are pushing and pulling. Now, right now, I have the intensity and the size at maximum. So if I click pull, a lot's going to happen. There's a major snake coming at us there. Uh-oh. If you want to switch out the intensity and the size, there are also hotkeys to do that. Intensity. If I want that less than 100%, well, I click minus. The issue with this is that it is super slow. That 
is how long it took to get from maximum to minimum. And of course it takes the same amount of time to get back again. So really I just prefer using the mouse to move this thing. Now the keys you need to use to change the size depend on your keyboard. I have a Danish keyboard so it, it, it says online that you need to use the brackets. I need to use in order to make it smaller O, uh, which is a letter that most of you probably don't have on your keyboard. And since this one is about as fast and useful as the other one, let's not bother with it. When it comes to terrain, holding down control really is the only super useful hotkey, in my opinion. Now, if you click three, like I said, you enter barriers. So let's just put down a barrier, okay? Oopsie doopsie, that is not at all what I wanted to do. Here's another super useful hotkey, which you can use for barriers, for building, for pretty much everything. Control Z. Same hotkey as you would use for basically regretting your life choices in any other program. And if you regret regretting your life choices, control Y is the way back. Control Z, undo, control Y, redo. Then let's go check out construction. Building hotkeys, apart from pressing seven to get into the construction one. There are a lot of them, and there are also quite a few that don't exist. For example, there's a hotkey to toggle angle snap on and off, that is the space bar. There is also a hotkey to toggle align to surface on and off, that is V. And there is a hotkey to toggle position snap on and off, that is F. I will go through those three and a couple more. There is not one to turn random rotation on and off. Personally, I really could use that because sometimes you're placing plants, you want it on, and you don't necessarily want to have to go into the menu, scroll down, click the thing, and then you're placing uh, walls and you don't want the same thing happening. So let's look first at what happens before I'm plopping anything down. I have this little piece of wall here, I want to turn it. Now, if I want to turn this 90 degrees exactly, Z, 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 Z. And if I want to turn it any angle I want at all, I hold Z down and then I can move it ever so slightly with the mouse, which is super useful. By slamming the space button and putting angle snap on, I can do 45 or 15 or 30. Now, if instead of rotating it, you want to lift it, then you shift it and you can pull it up and down and I cannot move it to the sides, only up and down because I'm holding down shift. Now, oopsie, I have it up here. That's annoying. I want to lower it down, but I can't seem to find the right spot. Then I just click shift and it is on the surface. When you're using grid pieces, same thing applies and you can move it like that until you have plopped down the first one. Then you can still use Z to turn it 90 degrees, but you cannot hold down Z. Nothing happens because we're working on a grid and you can only go by 90 degree increments. Shift works almost the same way. Hold down Shift, move your mouse, and you move it up four meters at a time. Unless, of course, you um, change the grid height to two meters. You can also change the grid size down here. I do not use hotkeys for that, so I'm not gonna go through them. Let's say we're trying to build a very tall brick column for some reason. Now, I'm trying to place this one on top here, but but it's, 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 it's kind of difficult. I can't really, I can you know, zoom in, but ah, getting it just right, especially if I'm gonna do a lot of them on top of each other, because for some reason I'm building a super narrow skyscraper. That is when I click F. I'm not touching the mouse right now. See what happens. And then I can click it down. And the next one, and the next one. Because F turns on position snap. Same thing goes for this thing. Plop on this thing, and then plop on that thing. Super easy when you have position snap on. 
And now I have position snap off. I'm going to try doing the same thing just as quickly. And um, that's pretty bad. Another hotkey that I really like is C. Let's say I've done that. And now I, I want it to like, align with this one again. Well, then I press C. Because C will realign any object to the north, south, east, west axis on the map. And it also works the other way. So let's see you have the uh, V, which is aligned to surface, on. And then I have held down Z, and I have rotated it, and then I regret doing that thing. I press C. C basically moves it back to its default position, whether it's here or here. And it also works with nature objects. Boom, look at that, I have a rock. I can turn it and I can move it up and down, just like with everything else. Now, I put it right there, but I actually want it over here. So what I do is I click M as in move, and it immediately jumps to the mouse and I can move it around like that. But if I want two rocks, I can just grab the thing and then press Control D. D as in duplicate. And then I can twist it and turn it and move it up and down and place it wherever I want. There's also another way to move objects, which is a more controlled way of doing it, called Advanced Move and Rotate. And to get to that one, you gotta press X. I grab my little rock and I press X. And then I can use these arrows to move it one axis at a time. This gives me a lot more control. It also takes significantly longer. So M for moving it, it's just quick and dirty, or X for moving it more precisely. Now the thing is not just called advanced move. It is called advanced move and rotate. And you can toggle from one to the other by clicking this thing, or by simply clicking X again. And the rotation portion of the advanced movement option gives you the ability to rotate on one axis at a time. Let me just press the space bar to get the angle snap off. And you can see I can rotate it like that, or like that, or like that that. But what if I want two rocks? Because just like there is the M movement and the X movement, there is the D duplication, which is the quick and dirty, and there is the X duplication. Because if you just press X, you can move the rock. If you press Control X, you get a replica that you can then move. And if I want to move all of the rocks at once, I can click I, which turns on multi-selection. I can grab them, and then I can either M, move them, or X, do so in a more controlled way. I can also, I for multi-select, grab all of them and duplicate it. Or I, multi-select, grab all of them and X duplicate them to get the control way of doing it. So now everything is lined up gorgeously. I multi-select delete, which I find to be a super useful hotkey. It's just the delete key on the keyboard. Now, I have already thrown an awful lot of hotkeys at you right now. What I recommend is picking just a few of them. Whichever ones you think will make the biggest difference for you. Pick them learn them, and then don't forget, you can always go into settings by pressing escape and look at what things can you do. You can check out the object placement controls where it will show you rotate 90 degrees by pressing Z, rotate by pressing Z and moving the mouse. All of that is right in there, so have fun. Work harder, not... wait. Bye! Whoa. And then you switch on T in this mode and everything goes berserk. The stamp ones are the same ones as the brush ones, just different.
This is gonna be a super confusing video that no one's actually be able to connect. Oh my goodness. Anyway, 